What's going on guys? Jacob Worth back here with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas coming to you guys on a beautiful day even though I'm indoors right now. It's outside earlier. It's a nice gorgeous day here in Southern Nevada. We get a lot of those particularly uh, this fall time of year. It's really nice. So I'm coming to you guys today though with something that I just I just happened to see. This actually happened uh, yesterday. I think this article came out and I was just, it just grabbed my attention. Uh, this comes from vitalvegas.com, which is also, Vital Vegas is a uh, large Twitter account uh, here in Las Vegas. So this is written by um, Scott Robin, who's the um, owner of the website. And this was just something that caught my eye when it comes to like things happening here in Las Vegas. There's always stuff happening all the time in many different aspects of Vegas life, local life, tourism, construction, casinos making changes. But this one here, when it said Vegas casinos invent new way to nickel and dime guests, literally. So this is something that you're not going to like, but guys, please like the video anyway. Okay, <laughs> please like the video. Um, and we're going to talk about this here and what this uh, actually means. Because it's, this is something that's not a good look. Caesars is doing this on their own right now. So this is something that's not a good look for Caesars in more ways than one, as you're going to see as we go through this article. But it's a pretty thorough explanation, pretty well written of what's what's taking place. So Caesars Entertainment, right? So they have nine casino resorts here in Las Vegas. They're the second biggest corporation after um, MGM. So it talks about how it's they're screwing people out of their change. So and it talks about, you know, ticket redemption machines, um, you know, but it's not the screwing you might suspect. It's worse. So here's the deal. So like he says, it's not headline news that many casinos, uh, ticket redemption machines no longer give coins. Okay. So that's not anything big. That's nothing new. But it says lots of things in Vegas have changed under the cover of the pandemic. In most casinos, if redemption machines don't dispense coins, you get the old ticket in, ticket out voucher for your change. Uh, it's the same one used for slot machines, right? Here's a picture of one at the Bellagio. And so you can use that ticket in slot machines or you can insert several tickets into the redemption machine and combine the amounts and get paper currency. So get money. And there's people actually, it's like kind of like their side hustle here in Vegas is like collect vouchers that have got, um, you know, like less than a dollar on them that people don't want. And then just pff, combine them all to actually get some money back. So so you can get paper currency and yet another voucher for the change. It's all incredibly annoying, but not particularly shady. Now, it talks about how some of the kiosks actually offer the option to donate your change to charity. I think we're going to come back to this a little later. The option to donate your change to charity rather than receiving a voucher to bring to the cage. So that's just a nice addition that some places do. Say, hey, you got 38 cents left. You know, would you like to just give it to a charity? Okay. So MGM Resorts, Cosmopolitan, and Wynn all have the option to donate change to charity when cashing out. Caesars... Again, they're kind of on their own island with what they're doing right now. So all these other places that give you the option to donate your change um, to a charity that you think would, you know, be beneficial to helping people. Now, as we scroll down, this is where it says, <laughs> I like this sentence. Here's where the Caesars Entertainment System veers in the realm of WTF. <laughs> so here's what they're doing right now. So Caesars Entertainment Casinos, um, you don't get the uh, ticket for your change, right? You get a receipt of your transaction. So the receipt doesn't allow you to put the money back into a slot machine, which is a really dumb move on the part of a casino, by the way. It's like, makes you kind of a good point, right? It's like it doesn't allow you to put money back in the slot machine. But also, you cannot put the slips back into the redemption kiosk to combine your change for money. So you can't put it back in the slot machine. You can't combine it. So, so the only option is to actually go to the casino cage to get 45 cents. That's the only option. So, so in other words, he says your nickels and dimes, right? So right here, you can see the image. And it says, for partially paid tickets, please present receipt to the casino cashier. Receipt void uh, after 30 days. So <laughs> you actually have to go over there and, you know, get your change. So here's, uh, dives in a little bit deeper, though, when he says, you know, since you'll never guess what happens, this is the sarcasm. When face this annoyance, people dump their tickets. Yeah, they just dump them here on the ground. So people just said, screw it. They would just leave them there on the floor in the casino. And then as we come down here, look a little more. Um, 
it just talks about breakage and unredeemed or unclaimed slot tickets. Now, 25% of the funds stay with the casino. 75% goes uh, to the Nevada State General Fund. So 25% of the casino, 75% to the State General Fund. So comparatively, the funds collected by casinos from unredeemed tickets aren't vast. They basically cover administrative costs. So, you know, to put it in perspective, this is not like, with all the ways casinos make money, this is not like a, you know, serious source of revenue. But it just says, given what we're seeing at Caesars Entertainment, the funds collected and given to the general fund are going to dramatically spike when they're next reported. So we took several tickets to the cage during our visit and asked the attendant if there's a limit on how many tickets a customer can cash in at once. Listen to this part. So the attendant said, no, but they have to be yours. And he said, this caused our WTF meter to implode. <laughs> he said, how would a cashier know if someone had gotten the tickets themselves or picked up receipts discarded by other customers? Obviously, they wouldn't, right? And I mean, and who knows if any even cashier at one of these casinos would even make much of an issue over it. Like, is it going to be really worth it to that cashier? Probably not. So it says the policy is to prevent modern day version of what was once called silver mining, where uh, folks as often vagrants would go through casinos, look for credits left behind by players. They'd cash out the coins or the silver despite rules against doing so. So it says, while some might consider this pol new policy a minor annoyance, as we think it's just better the item on the list of irksome practices. Um, it's just another item on the list of irksome practices eroding the Las Vegas experience. So, um, yeah, <laughs> here's the picture. Processing, please wait. Amount requested, $41.50. Amount dispensed, $41. So he says here, Las Vegas is quickly becoming the rounding down capital of the world. I'm like, it's actually not a bad way to put it. So, but basically just saying it's another tiny thing. It's another minor thing, right? It's not a huge thing. A lot of people are probably not even going to notice this. Or, you know, it said it's, it's a small enough annoyance that a lot of people are going to be like, all right, whatever. But he says when you add it to stuff like CNF charges, service fees, venue fees, resort fees, and, you know, just other fees, you're, like it's just another one that for some people leaves a real bad taste in their mouth to be like, oh, great, there's another little fee in Vegas. For a lot of people, it's more of a principle where it's just annoying for them. So... It says here, it's not just stealing your pocket change. Such practices are damaging the perception of Las Vegas as a value destination, like what we were just saying, right? So is that change in perception is hurting tourism? He says, not now, but, um, you know, again, it's just over the years. I mean, how many videos have you seen where they, I've done here on this channel where the resort fee has been increased or some new fee has been added or changed, like they're constantly changing something. So like it just said, it kind of irks people the wrong way when they see this kind of thing. So this is the main, my, these uh, policies may not be earth shouting individually, but Las Vegas casinos don't need to make it easier for travels, travelers to decide their local casino might not be Vegas, but it's also not kicking them in the bean bags. So it says bad enough. The ATM fee at Caesars entertainment casino is nine 99. And then listen to this part here coming up towards the end here. So this just shows all the properties that Caesars um, has. So Bally, Caesars palace, Cromwell, Flamingo, Harris, link, Paris, planet, Hollywood, and Rio. Uh, let's scroll down a little bit more. Let's see. It says also worth mentioning there's no coin shortage in Las Vegas. So he says, you know, the excuse may have been valid. He says it's not anymore. It says the decision to not give change is a cost-saving measure, plain and simple. It's like, yeah, you can tell the accountants and the actuaries are probably crunching some serious numbers on this one. It says coins are a pain in the ass and involve additional labor, machine maintenance, and other costs. Uh, same reason coins went away in slot machines. It says, however, in this context, it's unnecessary, short-sighted, and ultimately detrimental to the guest experience, uh, Caesars, Enter Caesars Entertainment Casinos in Las Vegas overall. Now, here's one thing the Caesars, it's not going to look good on them. It says, Caesars Entertainment should either change the policy, give vouchers for change, or provide the option to donate the change to charity. So, it says, big casino companies need to remove their earnings blinders to consider the bigger picture. It says if people stop visiting or visit less often, they will have been stepping over dollars to save pennies. Yeah, true. I mean, if enough people, if enough people, you know, stop visiting or if enough people, you know, decide they don't like something and they change their behavior because of it, and then yeah, these companies, that's what companies respond to is the marketplace behavior, the consumer behavior, the individual behavior to their customer's behavior. That's what they respond to. So what we're saying here is that this is the part that I think is going to look bad on. They should change the policy to give vouchers. Or provide the option to donate change to charity. Because like you were showing up here earlier, all your competitors give that option. Or at least a lot of the, a lot of the big competitors do. So MGM, Cosmo, Win, 
Like, hey, if you want to donate it to charity instead of taking it over to the cage, um, you can do that. But Caesars is like, nope, no chance to donate to charity. And if you want, you're going to have to walk over to the cage to get your, you know, 45 cents. Not the best look, but we'll see what happens going forward. And, you know, who knows? Maybe other casino, maybe the other casinos will start to follow along with this because, I mean, all the change, that little bit of change, you know, from um, every person really adds up when you got, you know, 40 plus million people visiting Las Vegas every year. So, guys, tell me what you think about this down below. I will link the article in the description here because this was just. So this just grabbed my eye. So tell me what you think about it. Please like the video anyway. I know it's not the best news, but for a lot of you, you like at least being able to know some of this stuff. So at least you're aware of it and you can prepare for it when you decide to come here on your vacation.